harshly, bluntly, and very direct. And you're not going to like my tone. But you women are going to have to get this. Over 200,000 200, women are missing from last year. We still haven't found them. The increase of violence towards women is going up. It's going up. Women are being dragged from their cars. And when I make a video that says, hey, women, stop sitting in your cars, man. You tell me things like God got my back. Or, uh, or, or I, I do this every day. I'm good. Let me explain something to you, ladies. Shaming is not a protection tool. Okay? Shaming is not a protection tool. Blaming somebody is not a protection tool. Not one man with the intent to hurt you is going to say, oh, she shamed me. I'm not a man. Let me stop. You have to use common sense. You have to use common sense. Yeah, you can play the numbers game. It may not happen to you, but one day it may happen to one of your friends. Yeah, you can play the numbers game if you want. That's rolling dice with your life. I see a lot of women doing a lot of reckless things. Where do you think those those missing women come from? Dating apps. Go look at the statistics. Y'all playing games with this whole, you know, he's going, he, he, he knows my value. He'll move mountains. He'll do this and that. Let me help you out. Let Uncle Joe help you out and bring you a little secret real quick. Let me tell you the mind of a criminal. Right. See, criminals stake out places to notice your movements and notice how you move, notice your inflections, and notice your body language, notice what you do, how you dress, what you talk like and whatever. They find whatever holes they can weakness. So you think they're the only ones listening to that content that you that you absorb? You think that content is only just seen by women only? Huh. So if I was a criminal, if I had ill intent, wouldn't I court you properly? Oh, Joe, you talking crazy. You just want everybody to be alone. Let me tell you what happened to my homegirl, right? My homegirl was loving this dude. She, she, he was taking her out. He was calling her in the morning on the way to work, calling her on the, on the, on, in the evening on the way to home. And then he was taking her, sending her flowers and everything. And I told her, I said, yo, that's, that dude, something ain't right. And ain't nobody just doing that. She said, oh, you just jealous because he got more money than you. I said, okay, you can say what you want, but that's not right. So when we broke our friendship up, right? I said, this dude is the same, this ain't cool. So then she said, hey, you know what? He's taking me to St. Lucius. Ain't no man ever take me to St. Lucius. He knows my value. He knows my worth. He's well, he he's a real man. Okay, cool. Guess what happened? He goes to St. Lucius, they go do their thing. He comes back about a month later and says, you know what? I don't think I I don't think this is for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I showed you a good time, but this ain't for me. Changed his number, blocked her, did whatever. A couple of months later after that, she got really sick. She didn't know what was going on. She went to the emergency room. Emergency room, because she said she had this flu been going on for a couple of months, been getting lightheaded and dizzy and a lot of other symptoms, right? You see where I'm going, ladies, with your hope, with your, oh, he, he, he knows my value and my worth. You see where I'm going? So she sat in there for about a week. They didn't understand what was going on. So the doctor said, I think we need to do a certain test. I think you know what test it is. And she said, what are you talking about? He said, when the last time you've been sexually active? And she told him. She said, well, we're going to do a test. You know, let's, is it okay if we do this test? She said, sure, why not? That test came back positive. You get it now? Man, nowhere to be found. See, I tell y'all women that a man knows a man of means protects himself at all times. He's, he's very quick. He's not quick to, to, to be splurging, splurging his money like that because he got to know what type of person you are. He protects his assets. He practiced asset protections and you shame me for it. I bet you she wished that now. She has an incurable disease for the rest of her life at 50 years old. All because she listened to some woman online. Tell her that this is what real men do. These women and these people on this line sell you fluff. They sell you, sell you what, tell you what other humans do, do in order to be with you. And you don't understand that that's, that's impossible. No other human can predict the behaviors of someone else. But you don't listen to Joe. 
But you don't listen to other people who, who care about you and protect you because it doesn't satisfy your ego. Let's go to Houston. Lady goes out there and thinks she's going to chase the bag. This dude got money. She's going to run up the bag. She's going to run up the bag. And next thing you know, dude, snap, she ain't here no more. You get the picture? Let's go there and the young lady sitting in the car. Just sitting there, just sitting by herself on her lunch break. She ain't here no more. Your shaming, your guilt does not stop. Does not stop anybody from doing so. And some of you in the comments are going to say, well, Joe, why don't you make a video to, to tell men to stop doing this stuff? Just stop. No video known to man on this earth is going to stop a man that has with, with ill intentions from doing anything. Make some damn sense. We don't live in utopia. You. You must protect yourself at all times. It ain't nobody else's responsibility for personal protection. This is why I tell women to get pium pums. This is why I tell women to protect themselves and get cameras. This is why I tell women, hey, go 50-50 on a date. Hey, don't make sure you send send a direct message to that man to know that you you not you not you good. You can pay for some stuff. Hey, make sure you meet in neutral areas. Make sure you let your friends know who he is. Hey, pr practice a little bit more dating protection. And you all tell me I'm wrong or I'm a narcissist, but it's funny. Had these people would have listened to me, they would have been here today. Had these people would have taken a pound of caution, they would have been here today. See, it's funny when we call people names that protect us because we want, to, we want everybody to follow the delusion of the world. We don't live in utopia and we never did. This is, no matter what you may want to say, the wild. And we're all animals in here, and we got to survive. And just because we're modern, and just because we may, may talk and think a little bit different from the savages, doesn't mean that we're still not among savages. And when I say to women, be careful. Be careful. Stop playing games with your life. Stop being reckless. Stop satisfying your emotions and your egos. You shame me. So this is my last video. You can go out there and play games and you can listen to some of these people out here tell you this is how you're supposed to date and what a man do. This is why I don't trust most of them out there because they play games. But they don't tell you that you don't know the mental stability of that young man. You don't know the mental stability of what's going on with that person. You better watch where you go. Protect yourself. Y'all tell me it's a man's responsibility. No, it's yours. We don't live in those times anymore. And I don't think we ever did. So I'm asking for you and each and every one of you. Practice some self-protection. Be safe. Practice some intelligence. Stop relying on people online to think for you and think for yourself. You are responsible for your own self-protection. Do some of you know the reaction time of the police? You got to call them first. 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, you won't be here.